So today I'm in the lovely and historic Polish community of Panna Maria, Texas. Poland went through difficult times during the early 1800s. The Napoleonic Wars, the partitioning of their country, and the Polish Revolution encouraged many to seek refuge elsewhere. In 1854, 100 Polish families traveled here from Galveston and established the oldest permanent Polish settlement in the entire U.S. here in Panna Maria. This community has the first Polish Catholic Church and school in the entire U.S. It was relatively isolated due to pro-Union sentiment during the Civil War, similar to other European groups in Texas, and also the railroad bypassed the town. Later in 1867, the first Polish settlement in East Texas was established in New Waverly, and today there are roughly 250,000 Texans of Polish descent. So we're going to explore this little historic community and see the beautiful historic buildings here. So the records you see here out of the New Braunfels German newspaper, these are the earliest Polish settlers to Texas, 1854 to 1856. There's a trunk brought from Poland. Several interesting historical artifacts inside this cute little museum. And here are a couple of baptismal gowns. This is a great little museum. So much to see. Nice historical photos. Beautiful little organ. Here's an old telephone switchboard operated right here. And this is from the post office. So this brand new building, which doesn't appear to be open yet, may present opportunities to visit in the near future. Pope St. John Paul II, the only Polish Pope in the Catholic Church. So one of the nice features about this museum is they give you this nice electronic audio guide. And this will give you more information about each of the historical figures represented in the artwork here. So starting in this part of the museum, it goes through the birth of Poland and how it evolved over the years. And then as you continue on, you get into how the Polish people eventually started coming to Texas. Beautiful museum, very well done. The Baptism of Poland in the year 966. This map depicts the partition of Poland in the late 1700s. And as you can see, it would be under the control of Russia, Prussia, and Austria and they wouldn't be an independent nation again until after World War I. And so this set the stage for Polish immigrants in Texas. They left Prussia where the government had begun the systematic process of forcing Poles to adopt their culture, language, and religion. They experienced discrimination, the marginalization of their Catholic religion, diminished social status, restrictions on the use of their Polish dialect in churches and schools, limitations on travel, and restrictions of land use, high taxes, 
high food prices, inflation, disease, natural disasters, and the conscription by the Prussian army, all of which added to their frustration. And in Texas, they saw opportunity. And here's some information about some early Polish residents of Panna Maria, Mary Schultz and Edward Catula. And certainly the Polish have had an influence on food in the state of Texas. Here's a little store and post office. Built in 1855. So this is the Panna Maria Historical Society. It is open March through October, open on Thursday. So you see the hours right here. And so this building was constructed in 1875 and was a store. Some, some people are just dumbfounded with, I can't believe there's that much here. And then other people say, you know, they were expecting the size. So there's an interesting small historic community just to the east of Panna Maria. So here in Helena is the old Carnes County Courthouse. Let's go take a look inside. Plenty of historical photos inside. So the artifacts you see in these drawers were found with a metal detector about 10 years ago. Wow. So the upstairs of the old Carnes County Courthouse was a school. Here you see the desks. And here you have a couple of old jail cells just outside the courthouse. And here's the old Helena Post Office. Really nice inside. And they also have a historic home that you can tour as well. Let's take a look upstairs. Wow. 
So this family had eight children and they all slept upstairs right here. Here we have the kitchen area. And here we have a 1928 refrigerator. Look at that. The compressor on top. And last we've got the tool shed. Here's an old washing machine. As part of your tour of the Helena Museum, you get to go inside this beautiful home. Is the historic John Ruckman House. Built in 1878. Very rustic. Here's the guest bedroom. And here we have the family parlor. Family photo from 1945. All right, let's head upstairs. Wow, there's even a third floor in this house. More bedrooms upstairs. So there's actually a separate staircase that leads up to the two boys' bedrooms. So the staircase leading down from the boys' bedrooms takes you right to the dining room.